the government of St. Lucia presented a substantial monetary allocation of $11 million to the Millennium Heights Medical Complex and Owen King EU Hospital Board on Friday, August 23, 2024. The fund, sourced from revenue generated through the Citizenship by Investment Program and the Government Treasury, aimed to address pressing financial challenges and clear outstanding debts within the healthcare institutions. The Millennium Heights Medical Complex, which includes the Owen King EU Hospital, the National Mental Wellness Center, and the Turning Point Rehabilitation Center, has been a cornerstone of healthcare delivery in St. Lucia. However, in recent years, the complex has faced financial difficulties that have impacted its ability to deliver optimal services. The government's timely intervention is expected to alleviate these challenges, ensuring that the complex can continue to provide quality health care to the people of St. Lucia. About four weeks ago, the board was invited to a cabinet meeting to discuss the question of financing for the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. After the delivery of a passionate and presentation and plea, the Prime Minister, recognizing the seriousness of the issues presented, instructed the Department of Finance to meet with the Millennium Heights Medical Complex personnel to craft a remedial action plan. During these discussions, the expenditure and financial profiles of the complex were validated and a plan was divide, devised for redress. Today, we are witnessing one of the outcomes of these meetings. The Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabaptist, emphasized that numerous discussions have taken place over the past few years, with the challenges faced by the island's medical professionals being a top priority. I wish to say to you, that the financing of healthcare is foremost in our deliberations every time we meet in cabinet. The crux of the matter, as many people say, is the financing. Others will tell you, even though you have the financing and the management, the management style, the management does not match the finances, you still have a problem. But what I want to say to you is that this government is adamant, we are resolute, that even though the road to progress may find potholes occasionally, and even though we find mountains and hills that we must traverse, we will continue to focus on providing better health care for the people of St. Lucia. That is our focus. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre reiterated his government's commitment to ongoing support for the health care sector, recognizing its pivotal role in the country's overall development. I want to let, allow the Ministry of Health a free hand and they now must be accountable. They now must be accountable. And I'm going to demand accountability, both from the Ministry of Health and from the OKU. Because what we invest in is taxpayers' money. So we're going to demand accountability. So, very shortly, I'm going to reveal to the country how we're going to hopefully, permanently, hopefully, solve the financial issues that relate to healthcare in St. Lucia. As St. Lucia continues to navigate the complexities of healthcare delivery in a post-pandemic world, this monetary contribution serves as a crucial step in ensuring that the Millennium Heights Medical Complex remains a beacon of hope and care for the nation. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.